it's a flashback to nearly 30 years ago. Warren Central with a deep run in the tournament with a quarterback named Jeff George helping lead the way. Eddie Day is all in the family then at Warren as both Georges agreed to look ahead and look back. Dad knew a day like this might be coming. It's really special. Uh, it was special back in fourth grade when I uh, when he first started playing football and I was the coach. And, yeah. and uh, you know, we threw the ball 40, 50 times a game in Little League. And, he, you know, I knew back then he was going to be pretty good. So, But to, to see, see what he's doing now uh, and what their team is doing and success they're having, it uh, it's by far better than anything that I've ever been through as a player and, and as a father. Of course, Jeff Sr. helped lead a team that started it all in Warren. The year was 1984 as the Warriors beat Hobart 28-8 for the 4A championship. George with the finals record three touchdown passes to Lance Scheib. This is the best feeling of my life. We came into this, we came to the game yesterday and I was watching, I was just sitting up there, I was dreaming about being out here and this victory and it finally came true. The Warriors followed that in 1985 with a 41-7 win over Valparaiso, in which George threw the ball a then record 46 times. Coming back as you're, when you're a senior and winning it when you're a senior and two times in a row is the best feeling I can ever have. Still one of the more remarkable two-year runs in state history. You know, we were pretty good, but uh, uh, the teams that he has to go against uh, now, um, they're, Are uh, they're, they're a lot better than really? the teams that we, we, we went against. Could you hang? You think? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I, maybe I should ask you, could he hang? I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we were dominant, when, when, and we had just a, a great group of guys when I was in school, and his team this year reminds me a lot of the, the teams that I played with. Bang! Jeff Jr. armed and ready to make his own mark, doing his work during the week so he can shine on the weekend. It's a George family tradition. How much has your dad helped your career, though? Oh, all, I mean, it's all Is the time. Can, it's like, yeah. yeah. I mean, every time we're watching football, we're watching games, it's always quizzing me on this. What is it, what's the defense doing here? What what would you run? What, what would be good? You and, can't just watch the game. Is no, that no, you? I can never watch the game at all. We, whether we go to games or watching it on TV, it's always, he's always quizzing me on something. And I think that's actually made me a lot better, a lot better yeah, player. I would think because after a while, that's got to come into play, mm -hmm. you know, especially when you're out here in the middle of the game. He says he's, he's learned a lot from me, but he's getting older and he's starting to pass me up. So he can already throw the ball further than me now. So it's, uh, it's time for him uh, to, to start his own legacy. Is there a point where you're learning from him? Now? I really, I really <laughs> do. I, 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 and I don't, I don't just say that. Yeah. Uh, when I watch him out on the field, I'll, uh, uh, you know, I'll, be, I'll say, oh, why, 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 what, what are you making that read for? Why are you making that throw? And then, you know, touchdown. And off of the backfield again. Don't nope, fake it. Here's the pass to the near side into the end zone from four yards out. And George is thrown for his fair share of touchdowns. 18 and counting to go with his over 1,600 passing yards. The Warrior run game has been a constant, as has Warren's improving defense. And all committed to new head coach Jason West, who, of course, won it all coaching Lawrence Central just a year ago. Guys, over-exaggerate everything. Don't pull something you don't need to pull. At this school, I mean, there's a history of uh, state champions, and anything short of that is considered failure. You know, it just doesn't happen overnight. Right. You know, you, again, you put in the hard work. Um, but the, the thing that's so special about these guys in this season is, you know, you, you have a new coach who's been there that won it last year, and uh, you have just a, a bunch of kids that are, that are hungry. And George wouldn't miss a second of it, sitting in the stands watching his son play the same stadium that he did. The site of his then career passing record 8,100 yards with a single season passing record of 3,300. The name George is big, but he makes sure the shadow he casts isn't. Let me ask you about the relationship. How much of it is dad? How much of it is coach in a way? How much of it is quarterback? For me, it's dad. Yeah. Uh, it's dad number one. He knows that. Uh, whenever he has questions or uh, he knows he can come to him, and, uh, and I hope I'll, I'll give him the right answer. And uh, I'm just blessed to be able to do that. He, he, he's just a, a, an awesome son, and, and uh, you know, I wish every parent could go through this. Did you catch that? You're an awesome son. <laughs> we, we've got it on video. Right? He, he's copying this. We're, we're good to go. <laughs> so it's always been dad. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the car ride home is really the, <laughs> the, the coach, quarterback, yeah, but then once we get home, everything just do your homework and uh, what would you have for lunch and all that, so. At the risk of a corny question, how much of you do you see in him? 
Uh, I, I see so much of him and me, you know, from uh, just to every, he has so many mannerisms that uh, just remind me of myself, uh, just watching him walk, watching the way he wears his helmet, the uh, way he jogs out of the, uh, in the huddle, uh, the way he throws. It does lead to the question of what's next for Jeff Jr. He has a scholarship offer to further follow his dad's legacy at Illinois. And then, of course, there may be options in the NFL, where Jeff Sr. played for several teams, including being drafted by the Colts, and stops with the Bears, Falcons, Raiders, Vikings, and Seahawks. By the way, the fact that Jeff Jr. also wears number three could be a sign of things to come. College football, though, you'd like to oh, yeah, absolutely. look at that and who knows after that. And you know, if you prepare and if that's your ultimate goal, you know, that's, uh, you know, a long time ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, like he said, you know, you worry about one game, one, you worry about today. And but you've been very upfront with him saying, hey, just look, have fun, I enjoy this ride. Nothing can replace your high school days. And for me, that was the most joy uh, that I've had in, in probably in my career. So I just want him to experience the same thing. Make Dad proud, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Thank awesome. you.